Hello guys, my name's Jakar and today we'll be bruh, I can't even finish my sentence. Today we'll be continuing Quantum Break. And there goes reput of my voice. Junction 3. I looked it up because I know this is a short game, but I want to know exactly how long it was. Well, I didn't find out the link, but I guess there's four acts. I'm trying to think, I already did act one, act two. I think this is the fourth act after this junction and this live action. I think it's the end of it. Probably won't do that today though. Probably just this do this thing. Junction growing and live action. Me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. What kind of phone is that? Dr. The phone's kind of floating. Look at his hands. The, like the phone's syndrome. not really there. It's kind of moving. He was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? Why only she? Why not Jack anyone else? Had taken her away from me. Can no one else give you medicine? Whoa, whoa. How the fuck did this happen, Martin? How is it possible he managed to take her? I'm gonna have a choice to kill Martin. Is your illness talking? I'm on your side. That's a really good graphic out there for like I don't know, then a black dude. Martin? He actually looked really real in that angle. Damn. They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. Why are you talking out the corner of your mouth? What? Wait, what? Act 3's not over? Uh, apparently not. Act 3 part... Three. It's a live action part? I thought I was over with Act 3. I got so many questions. I'm pretty sure last time it was like end of Act 3 and that's why I stopped. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, it didn't say live action. This is actually game. So th this isn't considered a junction anymore. This is actually me playing. I had oh, yeah, junction Sophie's 3. Figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. What am I wearing? She isn't. Kind of like George Clooney. Kind of. I don't know if it's just me. I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. This is a choice. Clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. Hey, I can see the future, so this choice is very obvious, right? Yeah, cause it's gonna be easy choice. I want to Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows so Sophia's does. loyal. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. So now it's looking like I'm a... I'm a do that one, but let me let me check out Hatch. Just for tickles and kicks. How really an expression isn't. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. Really? Ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. Then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. And now I have a hard choice. <sighs> so we're gonna choose the trust of inspects. 
This is literally just like, I don't, I really don't know. And now you're like, Jakar, why are you just sitting here? Well, it's not like I'm, come on, computer. Not like I'm looking anything up or anything. Fuck, computer. I just need to. Computer. Oh my. I don't care anymore. I don't. Computer. God damn, you failed me. I was my computer froze. I'll trust that. Oh god, I don't. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate. Right hand man. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. The only thing I was going to look up was, like, they just the percentage in the community. Team. Like, who chose what? Because, like, I was 50-50 on that choice. I really didn't have a good idea what I was going to choose. Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her. Until now, Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but we won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I she told you, doesn't. Can't trust their own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. I don't think time stutter. You never mind. It was the first time I'd heard her name, but she had been there in the past. When it oh all started. God! What she shot at you? I guess she knows what you'll become. I guess. She's been here the whole time, working against me from the inside, and she wasn't the only one. Don, Don. Uh, so most people trust the Della, yeah. Okay, now I knew it, but I was just like, maybe because you know, I don't, I don't know. Thirty-seven percent. Now here comes thirty-minute live-action cutscene. There's no changing the inevitable time. There's just one closed loop, and no matter what I do. Ooh, ooh my mic. It was tickling me, the wire in my mic, tickling my bare skin. I need to get in that lab. Something in there that I need. Be like, why are you? Why are you naked? Well, I'm not fully naked. I just got the shower. Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amro. I was like, I was one. I'm just gonna kind of talk over this recap, I guess. What is that? Oh, like, should I? Should I take a shower? And Danny record or record and take and take a shower? I was like, if I wait to take a shower, it's gonna be. Well, if I let you. I don't, never mind. I'll take a shower first. No. Why are you tickling my bare skin? What? All of them are saying what, uh, what's happening on TV. I'm What do you do with his two hostages? I mean, those two. He didn't kill one, I know that. Is that an eye drop? Is that a con? I don't know. Why do I trust you? Maybe it's because you're black and I'm black, so maybe I just like, I don't know, trust a brother. I don't know. You're one of them on the dangerous side. 
on to feed my wild side. There's the hatch. Lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Are you Burke? Yeah, personnel. that's Burke. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Celine's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people. So uh, I'm guessing that guy's a traitor. It sounds like right now. Like he's throwing a lot of shade. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. How do you figure? A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely, that kind of control, but should be feared, not worshipped. Yet people believe in it, just as people believe in Paul Celine. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather if he ever lost it. <laughs> yep. I should have chose you for the traitor. I don't know why I chose. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. Name the time. And this is where we come in. Yes, this is helping bring Paul down faster. He's leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over. Get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. No, I shouldn't trust you. Absolutely. Trust no one. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Well, you're not Burke. I thought you were Burke. Are you Burke? You're the other guy, aren't you? Yeah, you're that tech guy, aren't you? I thought you were Burke this whole time. I was like, cool. I'm like, your voice is too light to be Burke. You're the other guy, aren't you? Poison or something? What's with that face? You're the other guy. You're not Burke. But the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. Better get to it. Charlie, you bit my finger. Commander Davis. What would happen if he wasn't there? Wouldn't most of this just be? What would this cutscene even be here? I need certainty. Well, what would that first part be? Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. A long time. Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. Oh, God. I was like, am I game freezing? No time stutter. Oh, that looks weird live action. Look, that, that looks so green screeny. You know what it is, you can tell. But it just looks so much like a green screen. I think it's a green screen. It looks like one, to me at least.
this no that's Charlie. is this char yeah it's so hard yeah. to I, i'm getting confused now you're right yeah there goes Time's burke in. just like you said and the lifeboat program. see now i forgot what he looked like burke looks Place. a lot cooler than charlie to protect people from the fracture the only problem is is that is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is pretty much fucked but if we make it back to the mainland I can get us on the list. That's gonna be, you're selling them out. Why are you walking back defensively? You sound very defensive right now. There's a tunnel. Alright, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. Get off! Tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What? What'd you do to him? He's fine. What do you even do? Like he hit his shoulder. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Damn. Lead the way. October 9th, himself who betrayed Paul. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. Staring at a, a white screen. Some settling. It's time for me to rejoin the others. To return to the infinite. It's not a something a sane person would say. But I was actually kind of tired. I don't know why. That shower got me tired. <laughs> Oh, I knew it. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. You know, I hate this guy, but the Michael Bay walk away in the dramatic music. How far along is she? I know some YouTubers aren't showing like these live action cutscenes because it's just just Congratulations. watching a cutscene. I guess thanks we were watching it together, but it's just just watching like live action like 30 minutes. But I'm like. It's part of the story, so I'm not gonna take it out. It's actually valuable parts, mostly kind of b side story. It actually adds to like the game. So if there's some random nonsense that I didn't feel like added to the game, I probably won't show it. Pause it there, sorry. About halfway through this cutscene. 
My controller was dying. Was he just not affected by the time stutter? Why was that? Yeah. Like how I acknowledge it now, like after it yep. stops. I was like, what? He wasn't affected by it. I see the tolls in one Liam Burke. Or oh, something creep oh no, it's water. I'm like, is something creepy crawling coming behind you? This water, a lot of water, and it'll kill you pretty easily, but I thought it was like a new invention creepy crawly that was coming or something. Gunshot. Oh God. Hey, no, 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 we're with Monarch. What do you understand? No, get on the ground. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one. You're gonna get shot, dude. I'm this guy. One guy. Yeah. Who's she? She's Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Bell. Who are you? Are you just a random thug? Where's Burke at? Oh, Burke was shot. Fiona. Fuck. Fiona. Fiona. I knew someone was shot. Damn. You killed him. Fuck. Hey. He couldn't be I dead easily, could he? What was I supposed to do, huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. about you, Charlie. These subtitles are going pretty fast. Out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. <laughs> wow. They couldn't kill Burke off that easily, could they? Would, would they really kill him off like that? I, he's honestly the best character in these live action scenes. My favorite in these live action scenes, too. And just so undramatic, just bam. <laughs> He really dead that easily? He looks pretty dead. Maybe he had a life a vest on or something? A life vest? Get up, Burke. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Shink gas. Oh, God. Oh, badass of the year. I said you were shy, you just that tell like even better, Burke. <laughs> he talks about your wife, he slit his throat. I was wondering because I was reading the subtitles, this it, it says sling or shing, whatever. Yeah, it says shing, and I was like, what? That all that confirms Burke's alive. You're a shot, aren't you? And you're not you can scream everything in pain. I guess Burke or Monarch, you probably got shot before. Maybe, I'm not sure, but still a badass either way. Are you gonna shoot him? Oh god. Did you shoot him? I'm not really sure. Or you just shot around him, make you like, I don't know, a scene or something? I don't know. He's already dead, wasn't he? Slit his throat. Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. And you killed them. I don't know why I trusted you. Bam. Paul. Paul. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! That was really weak. Jack, he wants me to become you. 
He wants me to suffer until the end. It's more of Mr. Hat for his first name. But what was troubling me? He's very mani manipulative. I don't like that. My last story is like this. You have a leader. You no, know, maybe Paul's pretty she charismatic, and then has a really cunning right-hand man who's very ambitious. And she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. <laughs> she didn't. I'll create it him. But it says she greeted him. Found now. So what would you like done with it? I'll decide that when she's brought to me. It's kind of sad to see Paul like this. Especially because like that hatch to it. I didn't think he'd be this much of a dick. He just killed like those innocent people. So he really, really just wants to be the head of Monarch. Alright, you're still alive there, Brick. It was pretty obvious he was still alive though, because for one, like they shot him like once really fast. It was really unclimatic un unclimactic, whatever. Really not very cinematic. He walked to a hospital. And then, like, they just talked about it, like, oh, he's dead. And I'm like, yeah, hey, you need a hospital. Is, is your wife here giving birth or something? Is that why you're coming? I feel like that'd be a bigger reason than you actually seeking help. Hey, pal. That's your wife? I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily. We need to go. Go. What's the rush? Time is ending. Emily. Let's go. Gunshot. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know what's going on. The fist sounds are so good. That's the sound a fist makes when it hits through the air. I feel like it's one of those things which is like Burke would usually win, like a guy would usually win within a hurt. Oh god. Probably hurts your bullet there. No one's gonna stop this. Right, there you go, choke him out. Choke him out, oh god. Choke him, oh there you go, choke him out. Choke him out. Go to sleep. Go to, is he, go, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Good, I like how you held it a little extra just to make sure. Are you bleeding out your nose? I'm like, if I was in that situation, I was just like, I was struggling for a little bit, but ultimately I'll probably, I'll try before I pass out, I'll try to like act like I was about to pass out. Get away from me. Why is she running from me? Oh, because she didn't know I was part of Monarch, right? When I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. So every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't in school. I told myself every night to ask you It took me a fucking year. Emily, if Monarch, if they gave me... So she doesn't like Monarch, though. So. You gave me purpose. She yes. ran from him just when she found out he worked on How did you not know exactly where he worked? 
He was just like, all right, I work for a place doing things. He's like, okay. Something terrible is I would still smash. What's your name, Emily? I'll still smash Emily. If you would just let me, if you would just let me protect you. One last time. Flat. I don't know what she's gonna do. This is me. It's me. It's me. Okay. We have to go. We have to go. Okay, that's happy, I guess. She didn't just run away again. This is Paul. I'm actually feeling bad for Paul. That's how you know when you made a good villain. A good main villain. I actually feel bad for them because, like, I don't feel. I, I hate Hatch now. I forgot his first name. A black dude, whatever his first name is. See, look at this. He's about to betray Paul, I feel like, right now. Yeah, it's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. He's a traitor. I want him apprehended. So the same thing pretty much happens. Looks like it's a different order, and plus he kills the lab first, or maybe what I don't know exactly what would have changed, but I feel like not much. A little maybe. Is that all? End of episode three. Know what that means, guys. Thanks for watching me. This, this has been Shakur playing Quantum Break. It really means a lot. If you just can take the time to like, share, comment, all three, none of three, one out of three, two out of three, whatever you want to do, it's free. But my name's Shakur, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.